Yo guys, so before the video starts, I just wanted to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, my longtime friends over at Adam and Eve. We are partnering up today to give my audience a special deal, 50% off an item of your choice, plus free shipping when you check out with code JAMARI. That's J-A-M-A-R-I, JAMARI. There is no minimum purchase required, and who doesn't love free Woohoo! shipping? They have stuff for men, they have stuff for women, they have stuff for couples, and everyone on the spectrum. So treat yourself as someone special today with Adam and Eve using code JAMARI. Yo, what's going on guys? So I just thought I would make this quick video to show you guys this specific clip right here. It's yet another one of these Twitch girls who is basically treating Twitch like a much more adult website, if you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about one of those websites that you get an ad for when you're up late night watching something that you shouldn't be watching. The caption is, these streamers can't be real. And just watch as this woman continues to degrade the very people who are the reason she can sit her down at home and not have to have an actual job she just has to sit there in a little skimpy outfit and she can make like probably what someone makes working at mcdonald's you're entertaining but just sitting and reading child's boring play a game or react i hope that you get ran over i in a in a game of course like you know the warthogs and halo like dude shut the f up like i'm tired i'm tired of you ugly chatters now keep in mind, this woman quite literally relies on these ugly chatters to pay her bills, to live her lifestyle, and in general to fund her entire existence. And all they asked her was, hey, can you play a game or something? Can you provide some sort of entertainment value to us poor simps? And her response to those questions is basically, hey, y'all need to go out there and play in traffic. Play a game. Do I look like a bitch that plays a game? <laughs> you got me f***ed up. Just shut up. She says, do I look like a bitch who plays a game? Yeah, she's got a little Zelda doll here in the background, some sort of Zelda book. And she's streaming to a website that at one time was predominantly meant for playing games. Not to mention that she's sitting in one of those terrible gaming chairs with some traditional gaming lights going on in the background. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it today. Like, I literally, I got AIDS from all the chatters. At this point, I'm pretty sure this woman only has around two to three active brain cells going on in her head. So far, she's told her viewers that they need to go play in traffic. She's making some homophobic remarks. And the funniest part about this whole thing to me is that over here in the corner, she's uh, counting subscriptions, right? But she's saying they're her boyfriends. So she obviously knows that she's preying on these more or less parasocial relationships with all these weird guys who are watching these nasty streamers all day. And not only is she willingly taking advantage of that, but she's also spin in the face with comments like this. Like chatters that I thought were not mentally retarded, but look at them be full mentally retarded. <laughs> Can I just say one thing? If you're a man and you use the frowny crying face, you're gay. Like I've always felt like that. Like men aren't supposed to really feel like sad. Fellas, is it gay to text? Is it gay to have one single emotion? Like. Back in the war days, you used to have to kill people. Why the <laughs> f*** are you sad? Like, I'm the emotional one. Why the f*** are you crying? You know, at this point, I do feel like society might be truly doomed. We're all just walking around with mush between our eyes. Just from the sheer amount of stupid sh** that we have to digest every single day. It almost just feels like I'm feeding my brain that pink goop that they use to make McDonald's chicken nuggets. I mean, the sheer fact that we have let this type of person come in and make an entire career online just for basically wearing skimpy clothing and degrading the people who watch her stream is insane. And the fact that some poor sucker in the future is likely to wife this woman up one day. I mean, what are you going to tell your grandkids at some point? Hey, Grandpa, you've never told us what Grandma did for a living. All you really need to know is I was her number one simp- uh, I mean, supporter. 